So it's sort of like a guitar string, but instead of making an actual sound, each vibration is a different particle. Precisely. And when you express it in 11 dimensions, Einstein's relativity equations pop out. Does that sound like a coincidence? It does not. Yep. <laughs> That's what I think. So, so did we do it? Did we just solve string theory? Oh, I appreciate your enthusiasm, but this is not the sort of thing we can figure out in a night. People have been stuck on this for decades. What? Decades? Really? It's, it's a string. How hard can it be? It's, it's straight, it's in a loop, it gets knotted up with other strings. Well, actually, there are no knots in anything greater than four dimensions. Well, unless we get around that by considering them as sheets. You know, topologically speaking, that has a lot of interesting possibilities. See? How long did that take me? Like a minute? <laughs> oh, you're getting us dinner. Sorry, I had to stop at Sheldon's and help him solve string theory. <laughs> what? Yeah, it turns out the answer's knots. That's cute, but you can't have knots in more than four dimensions. Mm, you can if you consider them sheets. Good night. <laughs>